I won't deny it. I freaking hit my rock bottom. But I got up. I went to the Victory Mission. I did the 12-step program there. I'm trying to do right and get better. What you want? Uh, yeah, we were dispatched to a, a domestic in progress. One of the children had ran over to the neighbor's house and said that uh, dad was assaulting mom and there was a hatchet involved somehow. He's got drugs in his room and I was trying to find him. I don't have any drugs. I don't, I'm, don't, I'm not doing Why? any drugs. She punched me in the face. She, she chopped my door down with a hatchet, trying to attack me. I hit the door a couple times, like 10 She's or 15 crazy. minutes before. I was standing in his room, and he said, get out of my room. And I said, I don't have to. And he grabbed me by the throat, threw me down, and I punched him in the face. That's she what happened. He came in there with a freaking hatch. Oh my god, that's such a lie. This couple had been together for 22 years, if I remember correctly. Uh, they had been in an argument over the female had thought that her husband was using drugs in his room, which was separate than hers, and he was accusing her of using drugs, and she was trying to find out if he had drugs in his room by chopping at the door trying to get in. I hatched the door when he wasn't even in the room. If I would have went after him with a hatchet, I would have hatched him. I would have hatched his face. I was just mad. I just want the drugs out of my house. I didn't go after him with no hatchet that I bought him for Father's Day. Okay. While walking around the house, we came across a door which had a pretty decent sized hole that had been chopped out of it. Sounds like some stuff's going on in here. It had nothing to do with wanting to kill him. Oh, I know. I just wanted the drugs. I wanted to stop. I wanted out of the house. Do you think grabbing a hatchet and bashing in the door was a good decision? I'm glad I did it. I want to get a restraining order. OK. I didn't do anything to bring this on. Stop lying. Juanita. I didn't. Oh, my god. He's lying. She's a drug addict. OK, what do you say? They were both claiming there was a struggle, and they both agreed on that. Uh, however, it was talking to one of the children involved that um, he, in fact, grabbed her around the throat and threw her to the ground um, first and kind of started the whole thing where uh, shortly thereafter she grabbed a hatchet and tried to get into her room. So um, the other officer determined that, that he was, in fact, the primary aggressor. Is this right, man? Is relax this, your hands. This ain't right. Relax. Let go of your hands. How am I going to relax? Let go of your hands. Take me in for it. I don't even know you're going to flip out and you're going to beat me up now. The curtain comes at me with a hatchet and breaks my door and punches me in the face, but you're taking me. Uh, you guys are beautiful. They've been together for so long, and I'm sure they've stayed together through thick and thin, that uh, this is probably just a minor hiccup for them. And if not for their own relationship, but for the children involved, they'll probably stick together for their sake. Get your hands out of the bed! He's reaching for a 413 with him. Hit him! Hit him with it now! I have drugs on me and a gun, so she said, you need to pull over right now. I said, well, look, I'm not going to say and do it right here. I'll run this red light, and I'll come down here, and I'll stop. It's perfectly legal to be naked, uh, as long as I'm not doing anything lewd. Am I doing anything lewd? OK. Just so we're clear, you can't ride around downtown Portland naked. It's not freedom of speech.